Dolly. If you don't de last that rabbit, I'm going to break your wand over the bridge of your nose. Alice, go easy on the eye notes tonight. There's a lot of feedback from the hearing aids. <laughs> your flies are undone, Fred. <laughs> Oh, hello, Dixie, love. Oh. <laughs> you weren't out front tonight, then? Dixie, I've already seen the show four times, and that is as much as flesh and blood can stand. <laughs> well, you want to try being in it. <laughs> you know, Wally, of course, what I call him Walter Mitty, but he's quite convinced that we stand a chance of transferring to the West End. <laughs> I ask you, who's ever heard of transferring to the West End? From Battersea Town Hall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody ought to tell him about that floating sphere of his. I mean, I can see the wire from Rogue T. Well, I've tried. <laughs> because he can't see it, he thinks nobody else can. Oh, dear. Oh, I know what I meant to ask you. You're from the country. You'd know about fleas. <laughs> Thanks. No, no, seriously. How do you recognise a rabbit flea? A rabbit flea? Mm. Oh, that's easy. As a matter of fact, they're very distinctive. Oh, good, Anna. Uh, they've got long ears and little white tails. <laughs> oh, no, it's Wally's rabbit. You see, I'm finding it very difficult to look glamorous and vivacious with the thought that its fleas are all lopping up me arm. <laughs> well, from the look of that coat Wally wears, I think he's more likely to have fleas than the rabbit. <laughs> you could be right. Ooh, the wonderful world of showbiz, eh? Anyway, as things in the real world. Much the same. You always say that. Oh, well, it is. Oh, yes. That pair of swans had signets. Oh. The littlest one came right into the boathouse the other day. Oh. I smashed its head in with an oar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. You know, you'll never get to heaven. No, I shall go down the other place with you. Now, come on, Dixie, let's get out of here. All right. Ooh. Jack? Mm -hmm. Have you told your boys about me? No, I haven't, as a matter of fact. Why? Well, you're my business, not theirs. You're a bit of London crumpet. Ah, you're trying to find out what I think of you. Yeah. I suppose I am. All right. We'll drive down tomorrow, and you can meet them. Good. Well, if we're going to be on the road tomorrow, we'd better have an early night. <laughs> Here, do you think I'll just take them a present or anything? Not unless you can get a couple of chorus girls in your handbag. 